The derailment is raising questions once again about technology called positive train control. That's a system that limits train speed and it was not in place back in 2015 when an Amtrak train derailed here in Philadelphia, killing eight people. Greg Argos is at 30th Street Station tonight with more on how positive train control can actually save lives. Greg. And Nicole Yuki, think of positive train control as a checks and balance system for safety. If a train is going too fast or entering a dangerous curve, for example, positive train control can slow down that train, even stop it. The entire goal is to prevent a crash. Final Walk into any major train station in the U.S. and you'll likely find plenty of security procedures in place. But when you step onto an Amtrak train, safety systems to keep the cars on the tracks may not be installed. I do the reverse commute. David Hilbert remembers the day Amtrak Regional Rail number 188 crashed near Port Richmond. Eight died, more than 200 were injured, and the National Transportation Safety Board says excessive speed was to blame. I know the positive train control was something that would have prevented that. And since then, Representative Bob Brady says all Amtrak lines along the Northeast Corridor have had positive train control systems put in place. We closed the door after the horses got out, but at least we closed the door and Hopefully it won't happen again here. Positive train control is really a backup to the human being. The engineer in the cab could be distracted, fatigued, or incapacitated. Positive train control is GPS-based technology that knows if trains are going to collide with one another or if trains are speeding over what's permitted in that section of track. A spokesperson for Amtrak says the Washington State Rail Lines did not have PTC activated, but former NTSB chairperson Deborah Herman says it's unclear whether it would have made a difference. It's really too early to tell if positive train control could have prevented this derailment because we don't know what caused the derailment. Regardless, commuters here hope to see it in place nationwide. I'm in favor of more trains, more train infrastructure and more train safety. Uh, so I would love to see it rolled out everywhere. Now, once again, PTC is installed on all Amtrak lines here on the Northeast Corridor, as well as SEPTA's regional rail lines. We checked, though, New Jersey Transit does not have PTC installed on all of their lines. The deadline for installing that is December of 2018. I'm live here at the 30th Street Station, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.